Hey everybody, this is Tea Time with the Diva. Grab your tea, grab your coffee, because we're going to get into it. This Tea Time is dedicated to um, Beyonce's mom, Tina Knowles. You know, I think sometimes celebrities think they are above the law. And listen, Beehive, don't be coming over here. I like Beyonce, and I don't have no problem with Beyonce's mother, Tina Knowles. But I do have a problem with celebrities think that they don't have to follow the rules. If you want to live amongst the rest of us, then... If our community have rules saying that, you know what, you got to cut your grass every two weeks, then you, yes, Miss Knowles, you got to cut your grass too. And this is not about her cutting her grass, but this is about a beachfront property that she just let fall to pieces. She's ignoring it, and she has been ignoring it for decades in the community in which her beachfront property resides. They're sick of it. But they're being kind, and they're being kind because it's Beyonce's mom, and they don't want the beehive to come zzz, buzzing around. Now, let me go ahead and share a screen right away. Let, let's get right into this. Hold on, guys. Let me play this for you. An owner of a beach house in Galveston. That's really cool. Here's what's not. Neighbors say it's now a nuisance. Well, why is that? Fox 26's Don Lake joining us live in Galveston to tell us. Yeah, Rashi, you may not be able to tell from here because take a look at it. It's an absolutely beautiful home. And the Galveston County Appraisal District lists Beyonce's mom, Tina Knowles, as an owner of this beach house. Market value $1.4 million, but it was hit hard by Hurricane Ike nearly 16 years ago. Since then, the storm-ravaged residents went from beachfront to being located smack dab on the beach. And I'm told it's been patched up, but Pirates Beach residents and the city of Galveston say the house is continuing to deteriorate. If you look, this is the front row, second row, and we're third row uh, over here. And so all the front row houses um, that were originally put in the development are all gone except for this one. The home has been an issue for a long time. I mean, it's been in disrepair since Hurricane Ike. The city is moving forward with... Um, a demolition order. On the other side, there's actually uh, pilings that you can actually see through. The slab has fallen. Um, it's fallen worse just from last week's storm. And I mean, obviously, it's a little bit of an eyesore, or maybe a, depending upon your perspective, a lot of an eyesore. So it is a public safety and health issue. And we're afraid that it just may fall into the sea. Normally, the tide comes up high enough where the bottom of the house is covered. So at high tide, we would be standing in the water. Standing in the water right now. Do you fear that your home will someday be in the same shape? Yes, but we've been here since 83 and we've been blessed to be here. What can homeowners do once their beachfront property is actually in the water? So if it's a state of emergency, such as with Hurricane Ike, in this particular case, they were actually offered a buyout how much was the buyout? Um, the buyout, I believe, was somewhere around 450000 and they chose not to take it. So before this has lingered and, you know, dragged on this long, did the residents think it was kind of cool to have Beyonce's mom as a neighbor? Oh, of course, yes, yes. I mean, who would? Beyonce, I mean, come on. <laughs> Apparently, this post from Miss Tina Knowles on Twitter a few years back was of better times, showing off the beautiful view, and recently... Did you see um, that uh, when Charles Barkley said Galveston is horrible, did you see Tina's response? Yeah, I saw Tina's response, and, and we left her for that response because we left Galveston. Considering it's 2024 and Hurricane Ike was in 2008, I'd say we've given them more than ample time to respond. Now, Council Member Rob says Knowles is still being offered $150,000 to move the property if she chooses to do so, but she does have a limited time to make that happen because the demolition order could be in place in as little as 60 days. Now, uh, Tina Knowles, excuse me, is from Galveston Island. I spoke with a publicist for her yesterday and today, and she says uh, Tina Knowles may be traveling because she hasn't been able to reach her yet for comment. Reporting live in Galveston, I'm Dom Malik. Keith, Fox 26 News. You could be traveling, but everybody has the a Fox 26. Hold on, guys. Everybody has a 
a cell phone. So um, Tina, respond to these people and answer your cell phone. Now, hold on. I'm going to um, share the screen again. So let's go back up. Beyonce's mom, Tina knows I saw a Texas beach house that's enraging neighbors, okay? After being in disrepair for nearly 20 years, people, that's two decades, Texas officials plan to demolish a beachfront um, home on the Gulf of Mexico belonging to Beyonce's mom, Tina knows. A $1.4 million house belonging to the superstar's mom is in a wealthy enclave Pirates Beach in Galveston, where residents are required to maintain a country club membership. However, Knowles Megun home has been deteriorating for 16 years after the house was hit by Hurricane Ike in 2008. I mean, obviously, it's a little bit of an eyesore. Depending upon your perspective, a lot of an eyesore, resident Richard told Fox 26. Aside from its obvious need for a facelift, the house literally sticks out as it's the only property that is physically on the sand. Other homes are close to the beach, not on it. On the other side, there's pollens you can actually see through. The slab has fallen. It's fallen worse just from last week's storm. Pirates Beach resident James added, right now, tide is low, so you're not going to see the worst of it. But normally, the tide comes up high enough where the bottom of the house is covered. Neighbors have been patiently waiting for Knowles to make repairs and stay in the community, so they continue being neighbors with Beyonce's mother. Oh, of course. Yes, yes. I mean, who wouldn't? It's Beyonce. I mean, come on, James quipped one of the residents, but this is an eyesore. Not only is it an eyesore, it's a hazard to, you know, the people within this community. Garrison um, officials have been in contact with Knowles about the options available to help, make her, to, to help her make repairs. Because her home was damaged by the natural disaster, the state of Texas offered Knowles 150000 to move the property, revealed local um, city council member Maria Robb. But so far, nothing appears to have been done. I'm concerned at least the deck, I'm concerned at least the deck or a good portion of the house could collapse, which is why we're moving forward with demolition and considering it's 2024 and Hurricane Ike was in 2008, I say we've given them more than ample time to respond, the councilwoman stated. More than ample time, if that was the average citizen, um, they would have been tore that house down. A demolition order could come in 60 days. Knowles has not commented on the scandal. Her publicist told the outlet that she may be traveling. Despite her own lack of care for the beach home, Knowles exhibited hometown pride recently, clapping back at the charge Barkley for disparaging remarks he made about Gallison. Um, Shaq, where are they going, Chuck? Chuck Gaviston, the dirty A water. We're not um, even going to send them to Cancun. Chuck on the Pelicans. That's who he was talking about. We're going to send them to Gaviston where um, that dirty A water be washing up on the shore. You people think they at the beach, Barkley said, as part of his NBA coverage for TNT in April. Chuck, we don't play about Gavinson, Texas. You better watch it, sucker. Knows you spot on in Instagram. Our water might not be blue, but it's still the beach, and we love it. In fact, what you probably don't know is it's an island. Yes, me and at Angie Ambiance, I'm still rock our um be our, our boy necklaces born on the island. Um, Jay sent this to me in Angie B yesterday. He asked us if we were going to um let him talk about our city like that. All good at Charles Broccoli. We got a good laugh. So y'all don't start no mess. I'm going to say it like that. And Knowles post, Barkley apologized to Texas icon mom. Miss Knowles, I don't want nothing smoke. I don't want the beehive and Jay after Chuck, the sports announcer said. I apologize. Despite not um, keeping her home up to the community standards, Knowles' defense of, of the island community um, cemented her hero status in the eyes of locals. Yeah, I saw Tina's response, and we love her for that response because we love Gal but Barkley probably wouldn't have any nice words to say about the condition of this house, the resident said. And yeah, you know what? Like I said, celebrities, a lot of times they think that they don't have to follow the rules. The rules do not pertain to them. But in all honesty and all jokes aside, this is unfair to that community that that house has been like that 
for two decades. Tina knows do better. Beyonce, y'all got it. Help your mom or go ahead and just let them demolish the home which they said they're going to do. Finally, somebody got the guts after all of these days. Listen, um, after, I'm saying days, but after all these years. Listen, guys, chat with me in the comments. And when I get an opportunity, I will chat back. If you're not a subscriber, subscribe. Hit the notification bell so that every time I upload a video, you will be notified. If you are a subscriber, welcome back. Everybody, thanks for watching. Don't forget, hit the like button, people. And I'll see you on the next video.